Okay, so plastic is like everywhere, you know, from water bottles to our shoes, even the watches some of us wear. And most of us try to help the environment by recycling when we can. But new reports show that not everything we toss in that blue bin actually gets recycled. So wouldn't it be nice if someone could invent plastic that, I don't know, recycles itself? That's what's happening right now at a lab in UC San Diego. That's so the plastic. plastic yeah. And these are the bacterial spores. It's a revolutionary idea. So simple, it just might work. Why aren't we doing this already? That's a good question. And in this lab at UC San Diego, Dr. Adam Freist and Professor John Pekorski are working to make it a reality. They take everyday plastic and combine it with bacterial spores. The end result is a new material that basically eats itself to decompose. This is the biocomposite TPU, so the polyurethane that has the bacterial spores mm -hmm. in it. And you can see over the course of five months, pretty much all of it is, has degraded. So basically, we're looking at regular plastic mm -hmm. and how it degrades in compost in five months. Mm -hmm. And this is the plastic that you guys have made with microbes in it and how much better that is. Correct. Does that just blow your mind that, that you can make plastic <laughs> do this that much faster? I mean, it's pretty awesome. The process is similar to the way industrial companies make regular plastic. These guys just added the microbes to the ingredients. What they make is a durable plastic that can stretch up to 15 times its original size. And it doesn't start to decompose until the microbes get activated in compost or other natural environments. Plastics are extremely useful for many applications in our life, but I think now people are waking up to the fact that it's really stable and it doesn't go away. Pekorski and Feist have been working on this since 2021. Their results were just published in Nature Communications on Tuesday. Going forward, they hope this new self-eating plastic can provide a solution to the world's plastic problem. How important is it to find a better way to get rid of all of this material? Yeah, I think the truth of the matter is, you know, uh, recycling rates are really low and it's really expensive and really complicated to recycle all these mixed streams that we throw in these blue bins every day. How many years in the future before you think it could be to the point where it's scalable and cost efficient enough that all of our plastic will just eat itself? I don't think there's any uh, limitation to the scalability in the immediate future. Uh, cost efficiency, that may be up for debate. All right, so I asked how much more expensive. They say it's about 10% more to make this kind of plastic than what's on the market right now. I also asked if this can help maybe eliminate some of the microplastic issues. John and Adam told me they haven't started looking into that aspect of this yet. So scientific breakthroughs like this are always fun to talk about and report on. And it's one of my beats. If you have any stories about that or health care, let me know. Send an email to jared.aarons at 10news.com or you can scan the QR code on your screen to get in touch.